Hi, this is God's Own Medicine PS4, Medic Maniac YouTube, and once again you're with me on the magnificent Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. So we're going to be taking a look at uh, locations in a bit more detail, uh, and having a look at inclinations that might match and stuff like that. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to use our fairy stone, and we're going to head over to Grand Seren. And we're going to be um, talking to Asalem, who is um, in the Pawn Guild right now because uh, we're in the uh, second version of, uh, of Francis uh, after defeating the dragon where the Everfalls opened up. So Asalem is found in the Pawn Guild. Take a look at that, friend. Here we and we're going to be having a look at the different locations. So if I click change vocation here, we will have a look at all the different vocations. So the augments to a fighter. A fighter will get um, fitness, vigilance, aggression, sinew, prescience, exhilaration and vehemence. Those are the possible augments a fighter can learn. A fighter has a shield, uh, it needs a lot of stamina, and there is a skill that the fighter cannot, uh, an augment that the fighter doesn't get in its own vocation. So I, I, I said a bit ago that uh, one of the things you're going to need to do when you do your build is you're going to need to get augments from all the different vocations so that you know you can set up your character augment wise. Uh, as is the best build that you can. Um, proficiency is found on a warrior um, and you would be, be best off with proficiency because that helps stamina consumption when performing physical weapon skills. So for example moves like Dragon's Maw that the fighter gets um, take up stamina as does blocking and you'll need prescience um, for that for your pawn but what about inclinations for a fighter so a fighter is there to draw attention um, it ha can have moves like shield drum if we go on the skills uh, shield drum we will see down here And that can draw the attention of enemies uh, to help you uh, to uh, take up a position, for example, behind a saurian to slice off its tail. Its tail is a common one. Or it can try and draw the iris in the bitter black of um, one of the huge gore cyclopses, prisoner gore cyclopses or something, allowing you an opportunity to do something, you know, in the battle. Um, so fighters can utilize utilitarian uh, fighters can also you know take a lot of the the attention like i say to help out the team but they can also get in there and attack they like to i mean uh, if you see an eliminator and a pawn fighter having a fight which i've done over the years and you you, you have a good fighter set up they really can take take down eliminators you know perfect blocking them and you know really getting stuck in there they're good to watch if you've got a good a good setup um i like to set up a fighter um utilizing the bands that you get from from the bitter black uh, shield skills i like on a fighter are sheltered assault um shield drum and i like i like shield storm as well because they can utilize that to break you know for example elder ogres uh, blocking moves and stuff like that sometimes they use shield storm in a very strange way particularly when spectres or phantom ghost type enemies are around they'll spam shield storm a lot for no reason but when they do use it right it can be really good I like dragons more, but you have to have proficiency and good stamina on your on your um, your fighter. 
I like I love Steel Will. If you couple that with Spell Screen from a Mage, that can be really good. Um, and and then we're looking at perhaps a, a move like Hindsight Sweep from a band or something like that. Um, but fighters generally, you know really get stuck in they can really help the team out i i've got my fighter set up to be um mitigator challenger i think um or challenger mitigator um but yeah you know you have to watch stamina consumption on fighters because they block a lot so if you have like scather they'll really tend to use that stamina so if you've built a fighter with a lot of stamina you know, maybe you can use, use Scather on that. But I, t I tend to use Scather on other uh, vocations, much like I showed you with m m my pawn, who's a strider. And I like to have the fighter to, you know, draw attention, to take down uh, a number of enemies, and that's why I've got mine as Mitigator. And also it can, you know, take ranged attackers because it can close them down with its shield. So... I like to do that, but yeah, utilitarian's not a bad, not a bad one, especially if it's got a good beastery as well. Strider, I've already spoken about Strider, and I've already showed you my uh, my pawn's inclinations. Um, I think utilitarian is probably uh, a better inclination for a ranger because they can have. Um, a really good uh, bow skill that can you know um, target a weak point of an enemy and this is it crippling arrow so I think that out of the two out of the strider and the ranger particularly when you've got something like brain splitter on a strider I really think that the strider is more focused in really getting stuck in the ranger uh, will predominantly use the bow and I really feel that utilitarian is, is a really good um, inclination for a ranger so if you've got something like you know utilitarian um, challenger or utilitarian scather or something then and you can you also can give it arrows that can do things like for example you can get sleep arrows or you can get you know the blast arrows or you can get you know different kinds of arrows can't you you can get um all kinds of arrows to to do different things if it's got a good beast you knowledge and particularly if it's got you know something like the crippling arrow as well um utilitarian can be a very very good uh, inclination for for a ranger um for a mage obviously um like i said you know with the utilitarian first uh, with the spell screen uh, my mage severina really does help out a lot with that and prepare us for battles and stuff um mages don't have as much attacking power magically as sorcerers and so that's why I set my mage to be utilitarian mitigator. Um, my mage Severina can double up as a sorcerer. She's very powerful. Um, but mages tend to not be as powerful as sorcerers and tend to be quite, you know, more set up for aiding the party and being really supportive in, in their roles. The four specific mage skills, Anodyne, Halidon, grapnel and spell screen three of those are to aid the party the other one grapnel is like to aid and that's why i've got utilitarian set first to aid in the battle because she'll use that for the advantage of the party mages are very very supportive so a supportive set of inclinations that will keep her active um, or him active you know in and around the party in battle or even preparing for battle is a very good idea for a mage warriors are extremely powerful um, if you set them up right physically 
their weapons can deal much damage, especially when you get the really good ones later on in their gold forge. So again, if you thought about your build, if you thought about what the warrior does, that it can't evade and everything as I've, as I've shown before in my build that I've, I've put up, then for um, inclinations, uh, scathe is obviously one where it can go and really utilize you know, its power. You have to support a warrior, so like I showed, uh, unless I didn't show you, but I can show you right now. Um, so, if, uh, like a Mystic Knight, so if I just go and equip my staff very quickly. And then I go into my skills, into my status and skills. You'll see that one of my mage skills is High Sopor. And I've got a band for that so I can use Grand Sopor. But if I'm supporting a warrior, I can, for example, play Mystic Knight, I can put enemies to sleep. Now, if it, if your warrior's all set up properly, and they've got Arc of Deliverance, that takes a while for a warrior to charge. But they will charge it when, when enemies are asleep. Or, for example, um, if Severina's holding it with Grapnel, or if... Uh, pixies slowing it down with latitude or something like that these sort of skills help warriors um, to utilize their power and their most powerful charge up which is arc of deliverance obviously warriors can be set up with you know other different skills and stuff and I think I showed you my warrior that I've got set up um, as pawn to my magic archer and I've set the inclinations for that to be mitigator scather. But really, your warrior you want to be supporting in your party, and you want it to have inclinations where it can go and really use put its power, you know, into into full effect. So inclinations along those lines for a warrior are, um, you know, are favoured in my opinion. 